Mine boss Parker Schnabel may have bitten off more than he can chew. To pay for his Dominion Creek operation and bank as much gold as possible, Parker's spread his crew across three locations. Parker Schnabel breaks the all-time gold rush record in season 14. Hope keep watching for more details. Hi guys, what's up? My name is Lemon. Welcome back to my channel like this video and enjoy this video. Don't miss the main topic of this video, so let's start the latest update. Parker Schnabel, the star of Gold Rush, is known for taking risks and making audacious decisions when searching for gold. But this season has proven to be one of the hardest he has faced in his 10 years of mining in Canada's Yukon Territory. The focus is currently on his most recent venture, Dominion Creek, a vast untouched land that Schnabel paid an astounding $15 million for, a gamble that could potentially yield 880,000 ounces of gold valued at $160 million. The decision to make such a large upfront investment was clearly difficult for Schnabel. Viewers saw moments during which it appeared as though his mining operation might not succeed with the possibility of bankruptcy hanging over his enterprise. However, despite the difficult beginning, Schnabel's fortitude and strategic thinking emerged. He expanded his operations by splitting the crew into multiple groups to increase mining efficiency. The risk paid off as of episode 21. Parker Schnabel has mined an impressive 6,544 ounces for the season, just 2,000 more ounces are required to break the all-time record. Record of Gold Rush Parker is currently on the verge of breaking his record for the finest season, which was accomplished in Season 12 with an 83.9.750. He is currently leading the pack in this season. Tony Beats, Rick NES, and the Macon family are just a couple of the rivals Schnabel has left far behind. The teams in Gold Rush Season 14 are working non-stop to harvest as much gold as they can before winter arrives as the season draws to a close. While Parker Schnabel has a history of setting records, his competitive spirit drove him to surpass his own accomplishments in 2018. During Discovery's ninth season of Gold Rush, he and his team concluded the season with nearly 7,400 ounces of gold earning a significant $8.5 million. Season after season, his haul made $10.8 million the next year, just short of shattering the record of 7,400 ounces. Despite the difficulties caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, Parker Schnabel's career has been characterized by continuous improvement and exceeding his own milestones. During the 11th season, he unearthed an incredible 7,500 ounces of gold, valued at an unbelievable $14 million. Both records broke, which caused the staff to celebrate happily. Despite all the difficulties, Parker finished season 12 with 8,397 ounces of gold, breaking all prior records. In season 13, Schnabel broke the 50,000 ounce mark, with an amazing 8,100,118 pounds, which he did at the early age of 28. The gold mining industry is experiencing unprecedented growth and success due to its relentless pursuit of success. As Parker Snobble himself has pointed out, gold mining is a financial risk due to the unpredictable nature of finding gold in the vast Alaskan ground which can result in both amazing and terrible weeks. The concentration of gold in specific areas determines the outcome, making it a business with highs and lows. As Gold Rush Season 14 draws to a close, all eyes are on Parker Schnabel as he anticipates another record-breaking triumph in his illustrious career. Schnabel's ability to overcome these obstacles and continuously break records demonstrates his exceptional skills and determination in the cutthroat world of gold mining. Parker born in the harsh landscapes of Alaska on July 22, 1994, Russell Schnabel is a well-known American gold miner and reality television star. 
he is most recognized for his work on the hit television series Gold Rush and its spin-off Gold Rush. Parker's Trail He started his mining profession at the young age of five, laying the groundwork for an incredible career full of hardships, triumphs, and record-breaking accomplishments. Parker's early exposure to heavy machinery laid the foundation for the skills that would later propel him into success. Parker's family, especially his grandfather John Schnabel, had a big influence on his introduction to the mining industry. At the age of five, Parker began working at his grandfather's big nugget mine in Hans, Alaska. When Parker reached 17, John Schnell saw his potential and gave him the job of managing the big nugget mine. Nevertheless, Parker's ambition went beyond that. At the age of 18, he took a risk by traveling to the Klondike and renting a plot of land from the renowned Kondik gold miner Termi Beats Parker's company. His endeavors attracted the attention of BBC TV and the Discovery Channel, demonstrating his acumen and strong work ethic. This gave him the chance to share his enthusiasm for mining with the world on television in a format like to Marty Liner's journey. Parker Schnabel earned about $55,000 in gold during his first exciting season of Gold Rush, although he had a rather small start. His major role occurred in season two, when he took over the huge nugget mine. Parker faced new challenges and reached greater heights for mining 192 ounces worth over a quarter of a million dollars in season three to breaking the show's record with a haul of 836 ounces in season four. Parker's perseverance and growth were evident in the following seasons as he raised the stakes and his earnings season after season. As the seasons went on, Parker Schnabel's success sold, reaching new heights in season five when he mined 25 38 ounces worth of gold, valued at just under $3 million. In season seven, he hauled in over $5 million worth of gold, and in season eight, he mined an incredible 628 80 ounces of gold, valued at an astounding $7.5 million. Season after season, Parker set and exceeded his own goals in season nine, surpassing his 7,000 ounce target and digging up 7,427 ounces making nearly $9 million in profits the following year, though falling short by 204 ounces. Despite the difficulties of 2020, Parker's profits rose to almost $10.8 million as a result of mining his own land and the growing price of gold. Parker Schnabel's tenacity was demonstrated in season 11 when he brought in 7,504 ohms of gold. In season 13, he and his team achieved another milestone when they extracted an incredible 8,118 ohms, yielding an estimated $14 million in profit as season 14 plays out. Despite having the means to retire to one of the most lavish penthouses on the planet, Parker Schnabel's legacy on Gold Rush continues to work in his favor. He is devoted to the family business, which has not only brought him millions of dollars but also elevated him to a prominent position on the Discovery Channel. Parker Schnabel's unshakable commitment and relentless pursuit of achievement suggest that the sky is really the limit for him in the gold mining industry. A generation of viewers has been inspired by Parker Schnabel's remarkable success in the gold mining industry. His journey from a young child learning the ropes from his grandfather to becoming a well-known figure on Gold Rush resonates with aspiring miners, entrepreneurs, and enthusiasts alike. Parker's strategic decision-making, unwavering work ethic, and capacity to overcome obstacles have not only propelled him to new heights, but have also inspired a generation of people. His experience is proof of the transformational potential of commitment, fortitude, and a love of one's Parker Schnabel's success is more than just a television story. It inspires people to take on challenges, take calculated risks, and aim for greatness in their own endeavors. As viewers watch Parker break records and surpass their own limits time and time again, they are inspired to pursue their own dreams, whether in the mining industry or any other field.
Thanks for watching my video.